What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with more Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we made our way here to Alfernada, the site of the final Pokemon gym that we have not challenged yet on the Victory Road story path, but not before evolving our Primeape, Jury Han, into a Nihilape and taking that for a bit of a test drive. So now we're going to challenge the final Pokemon gym, but first, I just want to point out something really cool that's on the outskirts of Alfernada here. Look at this. I noticed this just playing around in the game on my own time, you know, just doing some terror raids for some experience candy because I was, you know, grinding the party up a little bit. And they actually have, like, the old school Pokemon sprites on the side of this building here. Like, you know, back from the old uh, Game Boy menu days when they didn't have the technology to actually properly display uh, individual Pokemon sprites by species. So they kind of just had to generalize by body type and such. I mean, just look at this. Look at the comparison. Look how detailed... The ones we have now are, and then compare that to the ones that were on the Game Boy. Like, gosh, what a... I was trying to be nostalgic, Bombardier! Bombardier, the item drop Pokémon. Bombardier uses the apron on its chest to bundle up food, which it carries back to its nest. It enjoys dropping things that make loud noises. But since I did do that off-screen grinding just to get Bev up to the rest of the party, uh, let me go ahead and do a quick team recap real quick because there are a couple of changes as far as moves and held items because I finally went to the Deli Bird shop like I promised ages ago. So we have Nightmare the Cerule Edge holding a muscle band with the moves Flame Charge, Bitter Blade, Sword Stance, and Shadow Claw. Suchinoko the Da Dun Sparse with a Citrus Berry with the moves Hyper Drill, Drill Run, Ancient Power, and Glam. Jury Han, the Annihilate, holding a punching glove, which is an item that protects you from direct contact and also boosts your punching moves. And speaking of moves, she has Shadow Punch, Rage Fist, Outrage, and Close Combat. Bev, the Belly Bolt, the newest member of our squad, with the Wise Glasses to boost the power of special moves, with the moves Acid Spray, Chilling Water, Discharge, and Sucker Punch. Mud Skipper, the Clodzire, holding the good old Quick Claw, with the moves Yawn, Earthquake, Toxic Spikes, and Poison Jab. And finally, of course, Artemis, our Meowskarada, our starter, with the moves U-Turn, Knock Off, Flower Trick, and Night Slash, holding the item The Clear Amulet, which I found in the Deli Bird shop, uh, along with the Punching Glove, obviously. It's basically just a held item version of the ability Clear Body, which I thought would not only be useful, but also I just like the idea of Miascarada wearing that, like, aesthetically. I just thought it would look really cool. So, yeah, that's why we have the Clear Amulet. Now we're finally properly here. In Alfernada, we are about to challenge the final gym in the Victory Road story path. Let's do it! Or not, because Nimona's here. Daniel! It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard him from Rika! But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. Oh good, no pressure. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. I'll do my best. That is indeed my name. Alright, what's the... What's the gym test this time? Oh, God. Exercise? I'm a gamer. We don't know how to exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. What? Complete it, and you pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym, and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now get out there and have fun! What in the world is this gonna be about? Oh! I'll be damned! It's Dendra! Oh, Sue! Welcome, new kid! This is where we do emotional spectrum practice! Why is your battle studies teacher here at a Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with a gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled, and, well... Look, never mind what happened. I kind of think I need to know what happened. I need that lore. Point is, this is my chance to get uh, both get a workout and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of the Emotional Spectrum Practice, or ESP, ah, uh, I get it, like the psychic thing, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. 
Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Great! Let's get to exercising! Show me an eruption of emotions! Oh, hang on. This is a beat. Alright, maybe I shouldn't be jamming so much. We gotta pay attention to what uh, Minicham is doing. If it'll let me proceed. There we go. Uh, yeah, frame rate's not gonna do so well in the rain here. Hopefully it's not freaking important to get timing right. It's on the face buttons. Whoops. A lot of time to get this right, huh? I mean, I'm fine with it. Just makes it easier so we can get to the tulip battle. I was just gonna be like a second stage of this where it gets way harder. <laughs> that was awesome! I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression! That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put those. Oh! Oh, I finally get to battle Dendra? Of course not. <laughs> of course it has to be a random NPC. And not the person who literally runs the Battle Studies class that I've been begging to battle for ages! Alright, Nightmare, let's clean this up. Sir, you are right in the way! I don't want you to get decapitated by my freaking Cerule Edge. This doesn't seem like a good idea for you. But yeah, real quick, let me go ahead and get the question of the day out of the way. Um, just gonna go with a simple one based on the gym rat. What is your favorite psychic type Pokemon? Let me know in the comments. Probably can't really pinpoint one for my own. Um, just off the top of my head, I like really, really like Gardevoir and Mewtwo and um, Alakazam. I don't know, I have to think about it more to be honest. Oh, you know, Sogaleo is pretty cool. Anyway. Hey, thanks for the 6k. Great! I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you gotta hang in there. Uh, yep, there's a second half. I knew it. That was perfect! I almost lost track of who was teaching who. Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all that lactic acid. Oh boy. Battle number two. I'm guessing there will be three rounds of this. Seems like it'd be a pretty safe assumption, you know, rule of three and whatnot. Also, if this is the level of the gym trainers, I don't feel like Tulip's gonna be that big of a challenge, to be honest. Oh, I gotta switch because uh, indeed he's half normal. Um, you know, let's get Artemis in here. But yeah, I feel like Tulip's not gonna be that big of a challenge if her gym trainers are in the low to mid 40s. Really, I just need the Pokemon in the 60s to deal with the inevitable Nimona battle at the end of the story path. So, you know, that's what I'm more worried about. I mean, I have to assume that's what it's gonna be like given the fucking, you know, given how the Arvin and Penny battles were at the end of their respective paths. Uh, we'll give this one to Jerry Han. And we just go Shadow Punch, which is powered up by the Punching Glove. Haha! -ha. Nice. Nice. 
Good job, you made it all the way through the ESP exercise. Oh, there's not even a third round of this? Ah, huh, all right. Eh, whatever. Hey, the sooner I get to fight Tulip, the better. Also, what is happening with Dedra's hair? Like, ma'am, are you okay? Oh boy, here we go. I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Oh, she also has a Metacham. Just like Dendra. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? Oh, she has two Metachams. All right. Ooh, I like her style already. Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say, you're a cute challenger, Daniel. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? Yeah, I'd say so. You keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. True. T see, she gets it. She gets it. It's not just about the Pokemon that are, you know, mechanically better. They also gotta look cool. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Oh boy. It's time to fight our final gym leader, the Psychic Type Specialist Tulip! Starting off with a Ferrigarath. Let's go! Wait, I don't remember. Are you still half normal? Oh boy. This might be an issue for Nightmare, actually. Okay, the levels aren't going to be a problem. Okay, you are still half normal. Good to know. Oh god, there's a crunch. Yep, see, that's what I'm talking about, though. Friggin', it's not even an issue. Right. So, uh, this is gonna be a wash. <laughs> What I am wondering, though, is are we going to have to battle Nimona right after this? I mean, based on how the rest of this is gone, I would assume yes. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to let Artemis have the rest of this. Here comes the Espathra. Speaking of which, I, you know, caved and looked up what its shiny might look like. That's a really cool shiny. I might go, uh, actually hunt for that at some point. Like, the color scheme on shiny Espathra is really, really nice. Ooh, Gardevoir. Uh, Fairy Psychic. So, actually, I need to go back out to... You know what? Uh, we'll give this one to Drehan. See if a Rage Fist from a Pokemon 20 levels above you would do enough. Yep. Didn't even need the power up. That's how big the level gap is here. Oh, Florges is your Terramon. All right, so obviously it's going to be Psychic when it's Terra type, so I think I can just stay in with friggin' Annihilate. You're just as hard to get rid of as Caked on Mascara, I see. I need a good makeup remover. Sad to say, a uh, mid-40s Florges is probably not going to be it. Just saying. Especially because you're about to make it weak to my Ghost Stab. Bam! Not even an issue.
Didn't even really have time to get into the good part of the theme. Hey, give a little level ups. Now the only Pokemon that's not 64 is Suchinoko. Your strength has a magic to it that cannot be washed away. Thank you. I lost the battle? And your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You've earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Daniel. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's probably accurate. I don't have very good balance. Uh, at least if I try to balance on one foot, it, it just would not end well. But yeah, that's eight badges in the books. With all eight gym badges, you'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level. They'll be good Pokemon to listen to, uh, listen to your commands, too. They won't help with your speaking comprehension, though. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Hey, Psychic. Nice. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Uh, hard cut to me having posted that on Twitter after this episode goes out. I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. I imagine it would be. Farewell, then. You did splendidly today. I really appreciate her style. Oh, hey, Nomona and Gita. Daniel Cerulege! You did it! Ah, I'm so happy for you! This is the best! I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Daniel. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym! Which means... Indeed... Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. Oh boy. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. Now, I've seen that building in the distance a few times. You know, just running around certain places, but I didn't want to, like, try to go there in case I would accidentally set up a cutscene of some kind. But I think I have a general idea of where that is. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank! I'm itching for a battle of equals! I've gotta take the time while you're facing the Pokémon League to fine-tune my Pokémon's moves and revamp all of my tactics! Well, good luck, Daniel, and wish me luck, too! Yeah, good luck. You're gonna need it. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you in the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesagoza. And I will be there. Eventually. I'm realizing now that I never actually took the time to like look around Alfernada at any point. Because I feel like I saw... Maybe something on one of these rooftops? So let's have a bit of a look around here for a sec before I head off to do something else. Oop, gotta get on the rooftops again. Kinda borked it. Okay, how on earth am I meant to get up there? Oh, this is just with the wall climb. No, won't let me do the wall climb? Okay, stupid question. Can I do the wall climb out here? Oh, no, the wall just comes down enough where you can jump on it. Okay, never mind. And there was literally a street leading up to it. Okay, cool. So, I'm just stupid. That's the problem. <laughs> now, the real question is, can I get up here on this structure? Follow-up question, is there anything on it? Oh, time to do some wall climbing out here and find out. Okay, I think this might be a high enough spot to go from, so... Uh, here we go. I should absolutely be able to make this. Oh, don't even tell me it's gonna... It's gonna force me to descend? Fuck off! Really? 
can't just let me glide all the way there. Ah. That's annoying. I don't know. Somebody in the comments let me know if there's actually a way to get up there. Like, don't tell me how. But, like, let me know if there's actually a way to get up on the top of that structure and whether or not, you know, there's anything worth getting up from there. I right, listen, I gotta go to Uva Academy to go to the Pokemon League anyway, so I may as well stop there and see if there, for any reason, might be any sort of new teacher interactables, aside from Miss Rightboard and Mr. Saguaro, who I already know what they're gonna ask me about. But, I just wanna see if there's anybody else I can interact with at the school. Real quick. Up oh, here we go. Yep, I was right. Nurse Miriam wants to talk. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, Daniel, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but... I passed the health... Oh, shit, you did? Let's go. Let's fucking go. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunts, and that really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. Hee <laughs> hee. True. Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Daniel. You are so welcome. Max revives! Thank you. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Fair point. Just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of a class at this academy before you know it. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. I will be there, front and center. All right, but with that done, I guess the only thing left to do is to head towards the Pokemon League. So I have to actually map out my course of action here. Um, am I meant to go through Uva Academy, or is there just like some other entrance to that path? Because I'd like to go there like the proper way. You know what I mean? But I obviously don't know if I'm meant to go a certain way, or if I'm meant to go through the building, maybe? Because the map is telling me, like, west of frickin' uh, the Academy. Oop, TM! Alright, cool, another Amnesia TM. Yeah, the map is just telling me, hey, go west of Uva Academy, there's the path. But I don't know if there's, like, another way I'm meant to do that. Okay, just go this way, maybe? Oh! Oh, nice. Perfect. Wait. There's a gimme ghoul. Yoink! Right, okay, I see a bunch of tandem mouses. Tandemice? Yeah, I think a plural would be tandemice. Um... Ooh, eerily quiet around here. Really getting you in the mindset that this is the final stretch of the Victory Road journey. I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Yeah, I could use a warm-up. Alright, what do you got, Jackson? Yeah, somehow I don't think you're going to do that well with a Meowth, buddy. I, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but a level 14 Meowth is not what you want to bring to the League. Like, I don't even know who's at the League or what they have. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you're not gonna do well. Oh, I hate to be that guy, but, uh... It's just not gonna work out for you, bud. Oh, there's another trainer here. I'm assuming he'll probably be about the same level range. But let's see anyway. Alright, Cabby Paco, what do you got? Ooh, you have a Crocodile. That might be a little bit closer to what's actually expected. Yep, that's level 56. Okay. Jeez, the fact that they have a kid with a level 14 Meowth and this dude out here in the same path? Gosh. That, I actually kind of like that, to be honest. Just gives you a, a real faint idea that maybe you're not ready for this if you don't have all any patches. <laughs> that's a nice touch. I like that. But yeah, Sushinoko, let's go ahead and finish this off real quick, see what the other two Pokemon are, and then we'll go heal up at that convenient Pokemon Center in the background. Jeez.
course, now I gotta deal with a Sandstorm. That's annoying. Yep, for that exact reason. Bronzong, who, of course, is not gonna be affected by the Sandstorm, and I assume will have Levitate, thus making it immune to Drill Run, and then everything else will be resisted. So, uh, maybe let's bring in something that's super effective, i.e. Artemis. Okay, Artemis, handle it! Right, so let's go for a knock-off, just in case you're holding something. Possibly not, because, yeah, I think it would have actually just... Oh, you got weather strats on your team, I see. You got a whole bunch of weather strats. Yeah, that probably would have O-code you if you actually held something, so... Just a waste of a turn, really. But hey, I won't complain about the lack of sand. It's fine by me. Ooh, Cerule Edge! I mean, come on, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta show him who's the superior Cerule Edge wielder. Who are you? I'm you, but with way more plot armor. All right, Nightmare, let's wrap this up. Out of here. Holy shit, I can finally buy timer balls. I can't believe this game has finally become playable. Okay, there's some people in front of the building. Hopefully it's not going to cutscene me, because I would like to check around the back to see if there's anything cool. Because of course I'm going to do that. Oops. Sorry for the random Akira slide, thought I saw something. Yep, there's a TM for Baton Pass. Alright, I, I just, I gotta see. I gotta see. Yeah, probably shouldn't be going to the Great Crater of Paldea. I'm just going along the edge. Just going along the edge. I'm not trying to, you know, go where I'm not supposed to be yet. That's a Magna Zone. Let's catch this real quick. I said, let's catch this. I was about to say, where'd my friggin' Pokeball go? That was a weirdly long time for that to be happening. Okay, um, I'm sure a Drill Run wouldn't kill, right? Never mind. At least Artemis crewed to level 65. That's something. Ah, you know what? Yeah, I bet the only thing that's up here is the battle court for what I assume would be like the championship battle. Yeah, kind of overlooking Paldea. But uh, nothing up here I can grab. Oh, well. Wait, is there anything on the second level? Oh, this is maybe where we have, like, the actual Elite Four fights? Possibly? Again, gotta look. Gotta look. Was that a gimme ghoul? Yes, it was. Get over here, little bastard. Okay, looks like there was just the one gimme ghoul. Alright, sorry for the waste of time. We'll go do this now. Hello. Hello, Daniel. So, this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Daniel. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Oh, I'm sure we will. Not yet. Because what I want to do is actually save that for the next episode, because that should be its own thing. So yeah, sorry if this ends up being a little bit shorter than some of the other episodes, but I do want to have the Pokemon League be its own thing. I feel like that's just better. And also, obviously, you know, it would mean that episode 29 is a little bit easier to edit because it's shorter. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Pokemon Violet. I really appreciate it. Next episode, next episode, if I can talk properly, we are going to challenge the Pokemon League I'm sure a Nimona fight is going to happen there at some point. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like down below and also leave a comment answering the question of the day. Take care of yourselves. Drink some water. And when you have a big test coming up, actually get ready for it like I have coming up in the next episode, I'm sure.